Today on the show, we have two significant updates surrounding the highly anticipated next Grand Theft Auto game. In today's episode, we'll be discussing the potential release date for GTA 6 as detailed by Rockstar Games' parent company, Take-Two Interactive, as well as intriguing teases from one of the game's leaked protagonists on social media. So stay tuned as we uncover the latest details that will keep you hooked and wanting to learn more. Let's dive right in. On May 17th, 2023, Take-Two Interactive, the parent company of Rockstar Games, as well as the publisher behind the incredibly popular Grand Theft Auto franchise, may have just revealed when the highly anticipated next installment will be released, and it looks like we might be able to play it as early as next year. In their recent press release alongside their annual earnings report, Take-Two shared some projections for the upcoming years. One particular projection for fiscal years 2025 and 2026 has grabbed everyone's attention. Fiscal year 2025 will begin in April of 2024 for Take-Two Interactive, and the press release emphasized that fiscal 2025 is a year of great anticipation for the company. They anticipate entering a new era in gaming by launching several groundbreaking titles that will set new industry standards and generate over $8 billion in net bookings, along with more than $1 billion in adjusted unrestricted operating cash flow. Take-Two's official statement said the following, Fiscal 2025 is a highly anticipated year for our company. For the last several years, we've been preparing our business to release an incredibly robust pipeline of projects that we believe will take our company to even greater levels of success. In Fiscal 2025, we expect to enter this new era by launching several groundbreaking titles and we believe these will set new standards in our industry and enable us to achieve over $8 billion in net bookings and over $1 billion in adjusted unrestricted operating cash flow. And we expect to sustain this momentum by delivering additional growth in our operating results in fiscal 2026 and beyond. Now, although Take-Two doesn't explicitly mention Grand Theft Auto by name, it is difficult to envision any other franchise achieving such ambitious goals here. Take-Two's net bookings for the previous fiscal year reached an impressive $5.3 billion, setting a new record, and this success is largely attributed to the contributions of Zynga, which is a major mobile gaming company recently acquired by Take-Two last year. And with Zynga's involvement, Take-Two has experienced a remarkable increase of over $1 billion in just one year. These numbers strongly suggest that something extraordinary is underway as well, and Grand Theft Auto appears to be the perfect candidate to deliver the kind of impact that can take these numbers even higher. As we eagerly await official confirmation, the pieces of the puzzle definitely seem to be falling into place. Take-Two's financial accomplishments, combined with the absence of any other franchise capable of matching their ambitious vision, heighten the anticipation for the upcoming announcement of the next Grand Theft Auto game. Fans and investors alike are eagerly looking forward to the moment when the curtain rises to reveal this groundbreaking title that will definitely shape the gaming landscape and potentially shatter new records. The stage is set, and all signs point to Grand Theft Auto once again taking center stage, poised to captivate the gaming world. Take-Two also has several strategies at their disposal to achieve their remarkable $8 billion goal. They can pursue significant acquisitions, introduce more gaming titles than their usual approach, or unleash an absolute blockbuster game altogether. The exciting part here is that Take-Two is already anticipating even greater financial performance in this upcoming year, and it's challenging to imagine anything less than a gaming phenomenon like GTA Online being built upon a fresh and entirely new Grand Theft Auto game. This potential gaming revolution has the power to shake the industry to its core and generate unprecedented financial success. During a conversation with Take-Two CEO Strauss Zelnick, IGN reporter Rebecca Valentine inquired about the possibility of GTA 6 arriving next year. However, Zelnick remained evasive and refrained from confirming or denying anything. He explained that Take-Two typically avoids discussing specific unannounced titles and earnings reports in this manner. In addition to GTA, Take-Two has disclosed its plans for three captivating core offerings from April of this year to March of 2024. We can look forward to the next installments of NBA 2K and WWE 2K. Furthermore, there's also considerable anticipation surrounding a new IP under development by one of their esteemed studios. While this project may currently be shrouded in mystery, there have been some potential candidates that have already been unveiled, and one possibility is Kevin Levine's enigmatic creation, Judas. 
However, the earnings call later refers to this game as to be announced, which casts some doubt on its inclusion here, but a more plausible contender is a multiplayer character action game being developed at 31st Union, led by Michael Condry, who is the co-founder of Sledgehammer Games, which deals with Call of Duty development. And since its Silicon Valley-based studio was established in 2019, a late 2023 release would not be totally out of the realm of possibility here. However, our primary focus at the moment is GTA 6, and the information we have today appears to align with insider leaks that have been circulating for several months. And according to a trusted insider from Rockstar Games, there are also hints pointing towards a potential announcement of GTA 6 as early of this summer with an official reveal. There are speculations that Rockstar might tease the game within GTA Online Summer Update, possibly incorporating a new activity reminiscent of the past treasure hunts in GTA, promoting Red Dead Redemption 2 related material, but those happen after Red Dead Redemption 2 was already long announced, and I'm not banking on that personally. I think we're going to see a very typical GTA announcement with some type of tweet from Rockstar, and then a trailer following later, or just a trailer coming out of the blue. But overall, if you've enjoyed this video at any point so far, or if you just find it helpful, let me know by dropping a like on this video. And if you want to stay up to date and in the loop with everything Rockstar Games and Grand Theft Auto 6, then please consider hitting that subscribe button with your bell notifications turned on. Changing gears into our second news story today, in recent developments surrounding GTA 6, the rumored voice actor for Jason, one of the leaked protagonists in the game, has sparked excitement among fans. Zampella posted a photo on his Instagram story in which he's seen wearing the same iconic red and white baseball cap and gray tank top that Jason dons in the leaked gameplay footage of GTA 6. And what makes this even more intriguing is that Zampella's Instagram story was accompanied by the song Run To You by Brian Adams, which was featured in GTA Vice City. This post definitely caught the attention of many GTA enthusiasts, and it's also fueled further speculation about Zampella's involvement in GTA 6. And it is worth noting that Rockstar Games typically maintain strict non-disclosure agreements regarding talent working on their projects, and of course this is going to continue onward. However, this is not the first time that Zampella has dropped GTA 6 related teases. Adding to this intrigue, there's additional information that sheds more light on Brian Zampella's potential involvement in the next GTA game. A few years ago, Zampella had a meeting with a former senior camera artist from Rockstar Games, and they shared a photo together with the caption, Be on the Lookout. And this meeting and the caption further fueled speculation that Zampella is indeed connected to GTA 6 and potentially playing a significant role, possibly as the main character Jason. While of course it always is important to approach these details with a degree of skepticism until official announcements are made, the mounting evidence and connections between Zampella and Rockstar are absolutely difficult to ignore. The photo of Zampella wearing attire identical to Jason in leaked gameplay footage, coupled with his social media activity and past interactions with Rockstar Games personnel, strongly suggests to me that he has some involvement in the highly anticipated game. Now, fans and GTA enthusiasts are eagerly awaiting official confirmation from Rockstar Games regarding the cast and characters of this game, and the speculation surrounding Brian Zampella and his potential role in the game only adds to the excitement and anticipation, and as the release of GTA 6 approaches, it will be interesting to see how Rockstar Games addresses these rumors and reveals more details about the game's cast and story. But that's all for today's news episode. Thank you so much for watching, everyone. Hopefully, you all enjoyed the video today, and if you did, hopefully I earned your like on it, and of course, if you are new to my channel and you want to stay up to date with the best GTA, Red Dead Online, and Rockstar Games content, then please consider hitting that subscribe button so you don't miss out on a single thing we post here on the channel. We consistently talk about updates, news, information, tips, tricks, and even leaks, and we'll keep you guys updated here on the channel daily, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you want to follow me over on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram, those are the best places to get connected with me outside of YouTube, and you're more than welcome to ask me any questions on those platforms. You can follow me at HazardousHDTV, and all of my social media links can be found in the description down below. With all that being said, thank you all so much for watching. If you have any thoughts on this video, I'd love to hear from you in the comments below. I hope you all have a fantastic day, and I will see you guys in the next Grand Theft Auto video. Adios, amigos.